I hear that you love cake. I love cake. And I wanted to show you a cake recipe in a particular book, and this, this book is a cookery book, which I think is one of the most interesting cookery books, really, in the English language. Wow, well, that's a heck of a build-up. So what is it? It's called The Queen's Closet Opened, and it was written by someone called, we only know, WM, probably Walter Montague, who was the private secretary of Henrietta Maria. And Henrietta Maria... Was the wife of Charles I. The wife of the executed Charles I at the time that this book was published, which was in 1655. You might not think the beheading of a king would lead to a revolution in recipe books, but this book, The Queen's Closet Opened, was produced by royalists to repair the image of the former queen. It lists recipes for sweets, treats and even remedies, supposedly taken from Henrietta Maria's own kitchens. And so this is an attempt to rehabilitate her as a sort of domestic goddess and associate her with sort of cooking. Of which the Nigella of her time. I think she is the first <laughs> domestic goddess. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. OK. So this book here, The Queen's Closet Opened, is an invitation into the private world of the Queen. So can we have a look at some of the recipes? Certainly. This one here, I think, is really interesting. To make a cake the way of the royal princess, the Lady Elizabeth, daughter to King Charles I. So you look at this recipe by Lady Elizabeth, half a peck of flour, fine. Half, what is half a peck? Half a peck is the measurement, and it's yeah. quite a substantial amount. Oh, okay. It's sort of more than a pound or something. So like take that. half a peck of flour, half a pint of rose water, a pint of ale yeast, so we're still going, a pint of cream, wow, boil it, a pound and a half of butter, four pounds of currants. God, this is, what is this, for the army? <laughs> um, one half pound of sugar, one nut, but like a whole nutmeg. Mm little salt. Um, work it very well and let it stand half an hour by the fire. Then work it again. Oh, dear, it sounds like I know what I'm talking about. I have no idea. And then make it up. Let it stand an hour and a half in the oven. Let your oven not be too hot. Fantastic. Right. Oh, I mean, who knows how hot that is? Yeah. The recipe books don't become prescriptive in terms of measurements and also in terms of timings until much, much later, not really until the mid-19th century. Okay. So it is to do with kind of learned knowledge. And presumably that's because anyone who was able to read, to buy and read a recipe book would have been delegating the job to their staff. That's right. So it's only until later um, when people were going to be doing it themselves that it became more detailed. Mm -hmm.